Geodesy, the Foundation for Earth Sciences and Earth Observation Systems. Very often, we are faced with the question, what is geodesy? This question would not be different from questions such as, what is geography or what is astronomy, if not for the fact that people in general is more accustomed to these terms. Not necessarily they know what geography or astronomy is. The interesting thing is that, more than ever in history, geodesy is so pervasive in our daily lives. Geodesy is a collection of potent Earth observation data collection techniques coupled with methodologies and analysis tools that makes extraordinary contributions to science and society. The interesting thing is that geodesy is not a new discipline and neither a byproduct of recent technology advancements. Geodesy dates back to thousands of years to the ancient Greeks and other ancient cultures. This is reflected by the classical definition of geodesy as per its Greek name. Ki, earth, and deo, measure the earth as the science concerned with measuring the size and shape of the earth. This definition extended by necessity to include the earth's orientation in space and its gravity field. Therefore, a classical definition of geodesy was the science of measuring and mapping the size and shape, orientation in space, and gravity field of the Earth. Geodesy three pillars are positioning, gravity field, and Earth orientation and rotation. As the accuracy of measurement techniques enhanced, that definition started to include variations over time. Geodetic practice has served as the foundation for navigation, surveying, and mapping. There are several factors that have transformed geodesy from an arcane earth science that lies beneath map making to today's leading edge earth and planetary science. To begin with, there have been extraordinary developments in accuracy and resolution of modern geodetic instrumentation as well as coverage, both spatial and temporal, due to advances in satellite sensors and design of satellite mission, and developments in continuously monitoring systems. Secondly, the developments of unconventional use of signals transmitted by global satellite navigation system. And finally, the capability to measure Earth parameters unlike no other remote sensing technique. These geodetically determined parameters can be seen as traces of several dynamic Earth phenomena, either natural or man-made, either local or global, including variation in position and velocity of points and land surfaces, kinematics, variations in the Earth's ocean and atmosphere, variations in the orientation of the Earth, and spatial and temporal mapping of the Earth's gravity field. These geodetically determined parameters can be inverted to serve as constraints in physical models or as monitor of physical processes. And all of that referenced to an ultra-stable global coordinate system, the International Terrestrial Reference Frame, which provides geometric consistency at global scale. The tremendous increase in importance and visibility of geodesy in the past decades has made it even more difficult to define it. For example, the American Geophysical Union defines geodesy as the study of the geometrical, structural, and gravitational properties of the Earth, their time evolution, and the dynamic interactions of the solid Earth with other physical components of the Earth's system, atmosphere, hydrosphere, cryosphere, and the core at a wide range of temporal and spatial scales. Geodesists also study the corresponding topics for other planets in the solar system. The European Geosciences Union defines as the science of the measurement and mapping of the Earth's surface. Since the surface is mainly shaped by the Earth's gravity field, the classical definition includes the Earth's gravitational potential. Observing the Earth's figure, 
the orientation and rotation as well as the gravity field, geodesy today provides spatial and temporal patterns of geophysical processes within the Earth system, such as sea level rise, tides, melting of continental ice masses, changes in global water circulation, and in the atmosphere or the formations of the solid Earth, from the measurement systems to the investigation of geophysical processes. I like to make an analogy between the monitoring of a human heart and geodesy as an Earth observation system. Science has made a jump from sporadic to continuous monitoring. Not just that, the capability to imagine the whole. Space geodetic techniques have meaningfully enhanced our understanding of how Earth exists as a system, including the solid Earth, oceans, and enveloping atmosphere and their interactions and circulation mechanisms. They contribute to the determination of global sea level variation, crustal motion due to glacial isostatic adjustments since the last glacial maximum, variation in ice sheets mass, pre, co and post seismic displacement fields associated with large earthquakes, early warnings for tsunamis, landslides, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions, all of them with accuracy that can reach millimeter level over different periods. It is customary to list those techniques, such as GNSS, satellite laser ranging, lunar laser ranging, very long baseline interferometry, Doppler, orbitography and radio positioning integrated by satellite, DORIS, Satellite altimetry for sea and ice, gravimetric satellite missions, and satellite interferometric synthetic aperture radar mapping. Each one of them provides invaluable contributions, but the integration of all geodetic measurements offer a much more important contribution to monitor phenomena and processes within the Earth system at far higher fidelity than if isolated. The integration demands the combination of geometric and gravimetric data and the common estimation of all necessary parameters to represent the Earth system. Geodesy is a fascinating discipline in earth sciences with potential to contribute with even more reliable and accurate systems due to developments in quantum gravimetry in space and on the ground and relativistic geodesy with clocks. I remember watching a public lecture in the 1980s when the presenter suggested that technological advancements would cause geodesy to disappear the same way as the profession of time announcer in the Middle Ages disappeared with the development of clocks. Well, this was a very wrong prediction. On contrary, the importance of geodesy has multiplied and it seems the sky is the limit. The presenter thought that technology would kill geodesy in the sense that all one needs to do is to press a button. In reality, Geodesy has seen a tremendous growth in instrumentation, satellite systems for positioning in Earth observation, massive amount of data, advances in theoretical aspects, increasing importance for understanding the Earth system, advances in applications. For example, we start to hear terms such as environmental geodesy or geodesy for climate. Indeed, the sky is the limit.